Welcome back everyone. I wanted to make this short video here just to give you a few hints on how to do the temperature conversion assignment. You know, again, you hear me say this all the time. It's a lot easier than it really seems to be. So I'm going to say it one more time. Just a few thoughts that I want to give you that hopefully will help you. But I do want to mention the importance of putting comments on the top of each program that you submit whether it be through Zybooks or through Brightspace, you need to make sure that you have your name on it. Now, you don't have to have the class on it, but I would like the, the assignment itself and definitely need to have a description of the program. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, just a line or two. That's good. And of course, your includes in here. So again, the IOMANIP is for doing decimal places in here. Not necessarily if you're going to use constants or you're going to round everything off, but I like to have a little bit more accuracy. So I've actually done this two different ways, and you can do the way that you feel the most comfortable doing is. I created a, uh, a function that's going to open the file and return the actual file handle. So I'll, I'm going to do that one first, and I'm going to show you how I did it in main in here. Both has pluses and advantages in here. So again, we're going to use a constant string. It's always best to use constants when you're not going to change anything here. And really, in all honesty, this integer here should be a constant. So you might want to change that in yours, but you can leave it in here. It's not a requirement here. I always like to show the difference one two different ways in here. So let's go into main and start off with notice that i have all of my variables declared and they're all initialized and they all have something meaningful now remember a comment such as declaring variables is really not meaningful so you want to make sure that whatever you declare it has a good explanation of what it is so the city for the temperature and the fahrenheit temperature to red and you can see the rest. So now I'm using both an uh, IF stream and an OF stream. You really don't have to do that if you want to use F stream, but then you want to include the mode that it's going to open, whether it's going to be for in, it's going to be for append, or it's going to be out. But we're going to use the defaults where one is just going to be reading in and one is going to be reading out. Now, if you try to open up a file that does not exist, in the in file you're going to get an error but if you try to open up an output file that does not exist it will create it for you however it's important to remember in the default mode it will open up a file that's already there erase the contents and redo the file so you want to make sure that you're very careful unless you open it up in append mode so in this particular case i wanted to put in an opening and You'll see it also in the, the function that I created. The reason being is you, if something doesn't align up, both of them should say open file with the exact same file name. If it doesn't, you know there's something wrong with what's being presented or passed to the function. So let's take a look at what I did here. I did um, my in file, I declared my in file, and open file, and I'm passing the file name in here. So let's go to the actual function itself and again I'm declaring an if stream in here which I'm going to use to open a file now I have the same exact code opening file in file so if I were to run a function and one says opening file and it prints the name and then it prints a name that's in a function is different you know right off the bat we're passing the wrong name so that's a way to do it not necessary uh, to do I like to do things when I'm coding and then I'm taking them out later on so now we're attempting to open a file. So again, I have two messages. One so you can see that you can do it in a function, one you can do it in main. The way you do it is your choice. I would probably do it in main, but again, it's up to you. So we're trying to open a function here, simple is open uh, or open file. And then you're checking to see if it's open. So this not here is basically saying if the file didn't open, so now we have C error, and we haven't really talked about C error as opposed to C out. They're really the same. C error is basically meant for error messages because it doesn't buffer anything. 
So as soon as it sees Sierra, it's going to print it right to the screen right away where C out may be buffered a bit in here. So again, we have file name and then endl. And I believe we talked about using endl as slash n in its place of slash n because the endl will flush the buffer. So whatever gets written to the buffer will automatically get printed on the screen and the buffer will get closed. But we want a new line, so we're doing it in here. So again, this is a uh, handle the error for appropriate for however, if you want to do it, you can in any function, you change it however you want. And then we're returning the file handle, regardless of whether it opened up properly or it did not. So let's go back to the main function in here. So again, you see I have my in file and my out file as constants in here. That saves me typing. But I want you to look over here. It's very important that you make sure that you have the Fahrenheit temperature text file in here. So the way I load it up, it's really easy. You want it inside your project. I just go to source files and I'll add a file. I'll go to existing item. And then what I did here was just paste it into this function right here and here to this folder in here. So once I do that, I will click on this here and I will click on add. We don't really need to add it because it's already there. But you can see it's got Toronto 47, Lima 66. If I wanted to do the Celsius temperature in here, uh, it doesn't exist right now. So we don't have to worry about it. But once we actually uh, write it, it will exist. So right now there's absolutely nothing in it. So let's go and cancel it and let's run the program. So notice I have Fahrenheit temperature too. We're trying to open up Fahrenheit temperature. So let's go and see what actually happens. So we have some nasty messages in there. So right off the bat, this opening file, Fahrenheit Temperature 2, and this one are the same. So we know it's not anything that we passed that's the issue. So now we have open file function fail to open a file. And then it's telling us what the issue is here at the file name. This is in main, fail to open the file, Fahrenheit Temperature text. And then I have press enter to end the program. So let's look at the code itself. And there's different ways of looking at it. So what I put here is if the file opens successfully, then it's going to let you know. If it didn't, we did the C error again. And then the in file. And then press enter to continue to let the user know so it just doesn't crash. And they have an opportunity to see what's going on here. And then the, the C and get to make some force the F. Now, this is something that I'm not really a big fan of. But it's something that you might uh, not have any way of getting around it is I do not like to return from the main function in the middle of something. I like to do it at the very end. But in this particular case, we don't really have much choice because of the fact that we can't run the program if we can't open the file. So I'm returning exit fail, which actually is a constant for one. Some people like to just put in one, which you'll see in my next portion over here. So now I have another C and get, so it makes the user hit the enter key. So this is how I did it in main, which is basically the same exact thing. Uh, open, try to open the file. Again, if it's not in here, see how file not found, but I put it in a return one here. So again, the choice is yours, how you want to do it. Uh, either way in this particular case is fine, but try to do as much of this in functions as possible. So I have the open file and then I would open up uh, the output file. If you return the function properly, everything's going to be good. So let's change the name here back here. And let's run the program and see what happens. So it went in here and it said opening file fair open it file open successfully and conversion and writing to file completed successfully. So let's go and add that file to here. So we can look at it. 
and here is n. This is what you're going to want to do is you're going to check the file after that. If there isn't anything in here, then you know you have a problem. So that is everything for you to do. Uh, let me know. Notice how it wrote to the file. Just fine. It put it in here. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully this is helpful for you. And enjoy writing the code. Before I end this video, I just want to mention one thing. If you try to open a file, and then you open it again. Remember, when you open a file, it's going to read it. It's going to put it at the very end in here. So if I were to run this program right now, in all probability, we're not going to be able to read the file because it's going to be at the end of the file. So let's, because we're trying to do this, do this, open the same file twice. So let's go and run it here. And file open successfully. I'm on another screen. And let's go and notice everything looks great. Let's take a look at the Celsius temperature. And notice nothing's there. So we have a problem. So how do we fix that problem? Well, there's one or two ways to fix the problem. Is notice again, we're trying to open the same file twice. So what we can do here is if file is open, let's just go in here and do my in file dot close and then what we'll do here is the same exact thing and let's run it or you can just comment all this out so let's go and run it again and see if this works if not we'll go to plan b and notice how now everything is written here so we're good so that is how you fix things when they don't go wrong, which is why I put in a lot of code here. So I know that if something doesn't show up, I know I have a problem. So you can see that Toronto is 18.3 and 18.9. So if we want to, when we're printing that, you can change it to set precision two or however way you want to display it. Let's look at our Celsius temperature now. And you can see it's 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 kind of got all kinds of extra stuff in here. And then the way you print it is using two step precision. All right, so that is it. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And hopefully this is going to be a big help for you.